Hi there, I'm KV Langford. I'm a registered osteopath in the UK from suetonic.com. If this is the first of my videos that you're watching, remember to subscribe and click the little bell button, the reminder button, so that you get a little alert every time I get a flash of inspiration and decide to put an advice video up. Now, today's video is for you if you have a disc injury or know someone who has a disc injury, be that a disc herniation, which is just a tear, or a prolapse, which is a complete split and a complete tear where the jelly inside the disc comes out and surrounds the nerve. If you want more information on what a disc injury is and how to recover from it, how to manage it, then do watch my playlist on disc injury management, which I will put in the box below. But for now, I want to give you some suggestions today because as you know, well, maybe you don't know, but watch my playlist if you don't know, the discs are like donuts and they sit in between the vertebrae. The vertebrae are the bones of your spine and the discs are the squashy bits in between. And when they tear, they bulge out and they hit the spinal nerves as they leave the spine. And depending at what level the disc bulges, it will send pain. So if you have a disc herniation or prolapse in your neck, you will get pain in your arms. And if it's in your low back, you will get pain in your legs. Now this pain can be excruciating. People can be on morphine with this, with this pain, it's so painful. And the only way to get pain relief is to take the disc off the nerve, which is why people often have to lie flat because it's the only position in which you can get the disc off the nerve. Um, and the thing is about discs is what's heartbreaking about disc injuries as an osteopath is you can't speed it up. It's like a broken bone, you know, a broken bone takes six weeks to recover. Uh, to, to heal and a disc also because it's cartilage takes six weeks to heal but that can be dramatically like increased if you don't do the right things because if you don't give the disc the, if you don't allow the surface of the disc to touch and, and remain in contact it can't it can't like regrow so you you do have situations where the disc just doesn't heal and then you have to have an operation. So I am all about helping make sure that you do everything you can to make sure that disc heals completely. Now, one of the techniques we use as osteopaths, physios, chiropractors, doctors, is traction. Because what traction does, we literally, you decompress, you decompress, you pull the two vertebrae away from each other, and that kind of encourages the disc back into the central position. Because when you're sitting or standing, you're basically putting all your weight down through the disc and bulging it out. Now, when you do traction, which you can either do when, uh, when a physio will lie you flat, put you on a machine and pull the vertebrae apart, or you can put yourself on an inversion table where you completely turn yourself upside down and decompress that way. Um, uh, that's, that's the kind of the two methods that are currently available. And obviously, um, you can only really see a physio once or twice a week. So basically, the more often, the more frequently you can decompress the disc, uh, the quicker your disc will heal and the more you will increase the chance of complete healing. So your options are traction at the physio or the hospital, an inversion table, which many people don't like because sometimes it, turn, it can put people's back into spasm. I love it, but a lot of people don't like it. And then you've got this third option, which is decompression belts. So in this video, I am just gonna, I've ordered off Amazon, my best friend Amazon at the moment, uh, three different belts, and I'm just gonna have a look at them and see uh, different prices, and I'm gonna see if it's worth paying a higher price or a lower price, or if it doesn't really matter, and just do whatever you can. Okay, so as if by magic, I have three traction or I'm going to call them decompression belts. I'm not going to call them traction belts. What they're doing is decompression. So we have one here at $39.99, one here at $48.99 and one here at $57.99. Now what's the difference and should you bother paying more or should we go for the cheaper version? Okay, so I'm going to start by looking at the cheap one, $39.99, pretty good price. So let's open it up. So here we go, we open it up, it is a belt, a good old back brace, okay? So it's just got a Velcro here. Now, what I like about this one is you can extend it like this, and you make it longer, okay? So you can make sure that you get one that fits your waist size, because that's really important, because it needs to be a really good fit to have the compressive effect, the traction, the traction effect. Okay, so now, 
Here we go, we turn it around. Now this is not your normal back brace because it's got it's full of air. And basically the theory behind these belts is that you pump it full of air and this will expand like this and, and uh, decompress, move the vertebrae away from each other, giving your disc a break. So um, I put this one on, it's, it's good, it feels comfortable. Um, and you just attach this here to it, it's very straightforward. I do like it if it's straightforward. You can't be doing with a complicated design if you've got back pain because you just don't have the patience or the time for it. So it's basically um, just like a bicycle pump, really. You just pump it up. So you would do this once it was on you. You put it on your back, round your waist, and then you pump it up. I, I like this. I think I think it does the job. Uh, I really do. I, I think if, you, if you're looking for a belt, it, it would do for you. Um, it wasn't amazing, didn't give a lot of pressure, but it, I don't have a disc injury. And I think when I do decompression and traction techniques on a patient, you don't have to do very much at all to get relief, to get that disc off, off the nerve. Um, we're talking millimeters. So I think this will achieve that. Okay, so this is the next one up. This is coming in at 48.99. Now it looks very pretty. It's silver. It's by the same company. And it has the same mechanism, it's a pump up mechanism like this, and you can probably see it increasing there, increasing in size, yeah, you can see, there we go, so that's, this I did like, this has good decompression effect. Now the reason it's 10 pounds more expensive is because it's got in here a little heat pad. So basically, um, if you saw my uh, review of the hot and cold packing, uh, belt the other day, you will know that I've always wanted to find a belt that would be able to heat up naturally. Um, so this, as in without putting it in a microwave. So this is, has a little battery power here, you, you plug this in and then you literally just switch it on here and it heats up this little pack here. Let's come up. Yeah, here you go. This little pack here heats up. Now, if you weren't an osteopath, you'd think that was great, right? getting heat on your back to relax your muscles. But actually for a disc injury sufferer, heat on the disc is the worst thing you can do. Because as I explained earlier, when the disc hits the nerve, the nerve inflames. What you want on directly over a disc, like either side of the disc on the muscles, so that maybe here and here, that would be great to have a heat pad there just to relax the muscles a bit. But actually over the spine, which is where this heat pad is, you need ice because ice is an anti-inflammatory. You want ice on, ice off, ice on, ice off. You want to just, you, you don't even do hot and cold packing for a disc injury. So actually, definitely not worth paying 48.99 for this, even though, uh, because what you're paying for is something that is actually not good for you if you have a disc injury. Now we have the third one, which is 57.99, which I would love to say, I really wish I could sit here and say, yeah, do not buy the more expensive one, the cheaper one is the best but I can't. I actually really like this, um, mainly because it's, what really annoyed me about the other one was the pump action. And I think if you have um, back pain, having to pump up the uh, air could actually irritate your disc, especially with a disc, you know, when you have a disc injury, you can't even lift a kettle sometimes. So this is electronic. So it's exactly the same, it's a pretty white colour, uh, just a Velcro here. Now do make sure, if you get this product, do make sure you get the right size. These don't come with the extendable pieces. You need to get like small, medium or large. So just check what your waist size is and, and do buy the right one, otherwise you're gonna be really disappointed because it won't work. Um, so with this one, you just connect it. Connect it here like this. I've already charged this. So this charges with this USB cable. Uh, switch it on, and then you just press start. I'll show it from behind. You should see it increasing this way, okay? And in that way, where's my little spine? So imagine this one here, it's just lengthening your spine this way and decompressing those discs. And then, um, yeah, so you know what? I really, when I, when I planned to do this video, my plan was to go, you know, this company is just charging you a fortune for something you don't need, but actually, I like it. I like the ease of it, I like the fit of it, I like the compression of it, um, and I think it is worth paying, what's that, 20 pounds extra just to have, not have to do a bicycle pump, because I want you to be able to do this as much as possible, as regularly as possible, without stressing about 
getting a back spasm because you're having to, uh, you know, manually inflate the, the belt. All right, I hope that's helped. Um, my actual entire intention is just to give you really brutally honest advice about what will and will not help you and what I think is worth you investing your time and effort into. All right, my friend, let me know if this video has helped and if there's anything else you'd like to make videos on, please send me an email or leave a comment below. Have a fantastic day.